Assalamualaikum and hi to our panel. My name is Nuhidah Yubinti Amran. My group members name are Intan Nusharada Binti Abdul Rahman and Nurul Shamimi Binti Abdul Khair. Our final project title is The Factors That Affect Student Academic Performance in UITM Seremban 3. I'm going to present first for the introduction. Um, this is the background study. Education is uh, one of the most significant components of our life in which education uh, empowers brain that can conceive great ideas and opinions. Education also made a significant contribution to the influence the social responsibility of individuals. The next one is academic success is uh, one of the educational quality metric calculated in terms of the accomplishment and willingness of students to meet particular goals for classes or academic programs. The success of students was critical in creating quality graduates who will become potential leaders and who will become future leaders. The academic success of students is determined by many variables, including social aspect, history, family context, peers, and health problem. Problem statement. Um, education is a vital component that plays a significant role in today's contemporary and industrialist society. The problem of poor academic performance of students could have uh, give a big impact for future of the students. Uh, children of families with a good financial status were more competitive than those of families with a low financial status. There are factors that causing this problem which are teaching competencies, students of uh, student attendance, uh, family income and sleeping habits. Generally, this may have been said that the student who had a good academic performance surely will get a better chances of future success in their career. Next, research objective. The goal of the research is to determine the elements that influence student academic performance at UITM Seremban 3. The first one is to develop predictive model to predict student academic performance and to identify the most significant factors that affect student academic performance in UITM. Research hypothesis. Uh, so basically, there is a four hypotheses, which is uh, there is a significant relationship between uh, factors that can affect student academic and academic performance of students. Uh, the factors are uh, teaching competencies, attendance of students, uh, financials, and sleeping habits. Significance of study The outcome of this analysis has allowed UITM Seremban 3 students to figure out the key factors that had impact their academic performance. Students have been aware of their right and obligation to achieve the highest level of education. This research even offers advice and comparison to students who face related situations. Next, parents have been used to study finding to deal with the problem of the learners, especially financial problem that has a significant effect on their learning journey. According to past study, lecturer also enhancing the standard of teaching techniques that has support students with their academic performance. This research has also offered insight into what steps should be taken by upper management and college administration to introduce policies to enhance the quality of education by enhancing student facilitation and offering full value to the learning environment of students. Scope and limitations are the factor which influence student academic performance at UITM Serban 3 were the purpose of the study. A total of 5,839 students from UITM Seremban 3 participated in the data gathering. The study was carried out by distributing a questionnaire to students as a survey and obtaining referral. For the limitations, respondents were inaccessible and reluctant to engage in the study, thus um, there were some uh, inevitable restrictions. Broad skill and well-designed research was required to evaluate uh, to validate and extend the conclusions. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Intan Nashada Binti Abdul Rahman. I am the second presenter for this uh, final year project. First of all, I will explain a little bit about the literature review. Despite Azamin's research on the factors that affect students' academic performance in UITN Seremban 3 campus, as we know that academic performance is the most important factors influencing community and the globe. According to Hassan, Ahmad and Razak 2017, academic performance is crucial in generating qualified graduates with a broad range of knowledge. The cumulative grade point average, CGPA, is used to assess students' academic performance. 
A CGPA is a formula that determines average of students' achievement for all examination grades for all semesters throughout their university enrollment. Jayanti Balakrishnan, Ching, Latif and Nasiruddin 2014 have indicated that academic performance have a big impact on students' motivation and determination in university. As a response, this research was carried out to determine the elements that could have impact on academic performance of students in UITM Seremban 3 campus. We proceed to the literature review for independent variables for this study. First, we focus on teaching competencies. Based on Ifeoma, etc. 2017, lack of material, poor teaching practice and poorly teacher behavior were the factors that influenced student academic success. On the other side, Salvation and Azharuddin 2014 had mentioned the teacher competencies aspect is concerned how successfully instructor can transfer information to students. Therefore, G2018 had mentioned that a good delivery was delivered by a lecturer would produce a high qualified students. Next, for the financial variable. Okioga 2013 stated in the study that families with high socio-economic level would do their best for their children's performance, including provide high quality of books and good environment to learn. Then, Sandoz and Wilson 2017 evaluated that college students from low-income family have higher risk of academic failure and dropout. In support to this theory, Somerville and Singaram 2018 suggest that financial and family background have a clear impact on student academic performance. Third variable is attendance of students. Teteh 2018 mentioned that instructional approach of students to attend classes consistently have an effect on outcome of learning. Thus, participation of class have a positive effect on students' performance. Besides, Morris 2019 indicated that attendance is often seen as students' involvement in class and crucial to their performance. For the last independent variables is sleeping habits. Study by Okano etc. 2019 discovered that improved sleep quality, duration and consistency were linked to higher grades. This study shows that the higher quality and longer duration of sleep were linked to higher academic performance in university. However, based on findings by Nihaya etc. 2011, there is no relation between sleeping hours and CGPA of students. This might lead to the conclusion that the students' CGPA was unaffected by their sleeping hours. Next, we move to the methodology part. The research design was conducted by using quantitative method. In this research, quantitative analysis was carried out by gathering data from the questionnaire. The total population in UITM Seremban 3 was estimated around 5839 students. This study will apply stratified sampling design and the population can be divided into three strata that represent three faculties in UITM Seremban 3. The sample size of this study consists of 350 undergraduate students and there are 191 respondents will be drawn from FSPPP, 101 students from FSKM and 58 students from FSR. Data collection method that has been used in this research by using questionnaires as this method provides a fast way to obtain outcomes from the respondents. Theoretical framework that is used in this study was adapted from a research by Cassandra etc. 2013. This theoretical framework shows the relationship between four independent variables in this study which are teaching competencies, financial, attendance of students and also sleeping habits with one dependent variables which is academic performance of students in UITM Seremban 3. Next, we continue to the method of analysis part. First, we have descriptive analysis that summarize in the form of tables and graphs. This method is data summarization by calculating the mean, median, mode and standard deviation of demographics of respondents such as age, gender, level of education and others. Next, 
the reliability test has been done to verify the data obtained was correct and consistent. The internal consistency of the items was assessed using Cronbach Alpha coefficient. Then, we analyzed the inferential analysis to identify the connection between two variables. This analysis is evaluated using multiple linear regression model. Briefly, multiple linear regression model has been used to determine the factors that influence students' academic performance in UITM Seremban 3. For this research, CGPA of students is used as dependent variable and analysis of result. According to our first research objective is to develop predictive model to predict students' academic performance, the method of analysis has been used is multiple linear regression, MLR model. Same goes to the second research objective, which is to identify the most significant factors that affect students' academic performance in UITM Seremban 3. MLR method has been assigned to this objective too. Descriptive analysis. Uh, table 4.1 shows uh, the frequency of the respondent age. As you can see, uh, the highest frequency is the age between 21 and 23 with uh, 278 respondent. The second highest frequency is the age more than 23 with 42 respondents and the lowest is the age between 18 to 20 with 30 respondent only. Next, um, table 4.2 shows the frequency of respondent gender. Female respondent are more compared to male respondent which are 220 for female and 130 for male. Pie chart is for education level of respondent. Most of the respondents are degree students with 83.4%. The remaining percent is from diploma students. Next, um, table 4.3 shows faculty of respondents. From table, we can see that FSPPP is the highest, followed by FSKM and FSR. Table 4.4 shows the frequency for family income of respondent. Most of the respondent family income is between 3,000 to 5,000 which is 36% equivalent to 126 respondent. Second highest is family income, more than 5,000 which is 34.3%, followed by family income between uh, 1,500 to 3,000 which consists of 80.60%. Next, from um, 1,000 to 1,500 which consists of 7.7%. .7 Seven percent and three point forty percent for the lowest family income, which less than thousand. Table four point five shows the statistic of respondent CGPA. The respondent academic achievement falls within a normal range of two point three six to four. The standard deviation is zero point three zero six seven six, while the average mean is three point four two three five. Aside from that. Uh, the mode for CGPA is 3.5, which explains why the majority of the respondent had a 3.5 CGPA. Then, I will continue for the reliability analysis. The aim of reliability test to ensure the measurements are free of bias and the measurements will remain constant over time with different items. So, refer to the table 4.6, we can see that the Cronbach Alpha value of financial has the highest value which is 0.929 while sleeping habits has the least Cronbach alpha value, which is 0 0.774. Since the Cronbach alpha of all four independent variables is greater than 0 0.7, we can conclude that the items may be classified as stable and extremely accurate. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nurul Shamimi binti Abdul Khair. I am the third presenter. I will explain about the inferential analysis in chapter 4. In multiple linear regression, the value of F test from the ANOVA table is 8.782 shows that the model is highly significant and the model is accurate and well fit. The variation in CGPA is well explained by the overall regression model with predictors of teaching competencies, financial attendance of students and sleeping habits. Next, the p-value is equal to 0 0.000, which is less than 0 0.05, and we can conclude that both dependent variable and independent variable are statistically significant. Next, from the coefficients table, the teaching competencies has estimates of 0 0.576, which indicates that 
teaching competencies has a positive relationship with academic performance. Since the p-value zero is 0 0.565 bigger than 0 0.05, teaching competencies does not statistically significant. Next, the financial. The value estimates for financial is negative 3.003, which indicates that uh, financial has a negative relationship with academic performance. Since the p-value is 0 0.003 less than 0 0.05, it is financial is statistically significant. Next, the attendance of students has a estimates of 1.366 which indicates that there is positive relationship with academic performance but since 0 0.173 but since p value is 0 0.173 which is bigger than 0 0.05 it does not statistically significant lastly sleeping habits has estimates value of negative 2.685 which shows that there is a negative relationship with academic performance However, p-value for sleeping habits is 0 0.008 less than 0 0.05 conclude that uh, sleeping habits is statistically significant. In conclusion, financial is the most significant variable because uh, it has the lowest p-value. This statement could be used to achieve the second study objective. The regression model for this study is CGPA equals to 7.474 plus 0.576 log teaching competencies minus 3.003 log financial plus 1.366 log attendance of students minus 2.685 log sleeping habits. Next, model adequacy checking. First, linear relationship between the dependent variable and independent variables. Based on the research data, the relationship between each of the independent variables and dependent variable is non-linearity. Because of that, the researchers use log transformation to transform the independent variables. After the transformation, a linear relationship between each of the independent variables and the dependent variable is discovered. From all of the figure, teaching competencies and attendance of students have a positive linear relationship with CGPA, the dependent variable. However, financial and sleeping habits have a negative linear relationship with CGPA. Next, normality of error terms. For normal PP plot, the closer the dots lie to the diagonal line, the closer to normal the residuals are distributed. In this graph, the few dots slightly touch the line indicating that the values of the residuals are normally distributed. Third, constant error variance. The plot of standardized residuals versus standardized predicted values show no obvious signs of funneling indicating that assumption of homocysticity has fulfi was fulfilled. So the variance of the residuals is constant. Fourth, independent error term. In model summary table, the value of R square in is 0 0.093. The results suggest that the four independent variables, which is teaching competencies, financial attendance of students, and sleeping habit, accounted 9.3 of the var 9.3 per 9.3 percent of the variance in CGPA, whereas the remaining variation in CGPA was explained by other factors. Other than that, the value of the Rubin Watson statistic should be between 1.5 to 2.5 to be concluded relatively normal. In this table, the Durbin Watson is 1.5 show that this assumption had been met. Therefore, the data is not autocorrelated. Fifth, multicollinearity. According to collinearity data, VIF scores should be below 10 and tolerance scores has to be above 0 0.2. From the table, all of the value all of the VIF values is less than 10 and all the values for tolerance scores are above 0 0.2. Thus, there is no multicollinearity in the data. Lastly, presence of outliers. Outliers are observations in which the observed dependent value deviates from the overall trend in light of the independent value. For Cook's distance, any numbers greater than 1 are likely to be large outliers. 
In the residual statistics table, the maximum value is 0.086 shows that there is no outlier. Therefore, there are no influential cases biasing in the model. A transformation technique was carried out in order to construct a predictive model to forecast students' academic performance in UITM Sermon 3 based on the first study objectives. As a result, upon transformation, the new regression model is CGPA equals to 7.74 plus 0.576 log teaching competencies minus 3.003 log financial plus 1.366 log attendance of students minus 2.685 sleeping habits. Limitation The first limitation of this research is the use of questionnaire to gather data. It cannot be said that using questionnaire is a completely ineffective approach, rather it is possible that it is not the right method. This is because respondents are only required to answer questions upon request, so they may answer them inattentively. A layer and flaw and flaw in the data collected can be result as a result of this. The inability to get the data from international students will be the next limitation. This research only focuses on respondents who are students in UITM Seremban 3. The students at UITM Seremban 3 campus are all from the local area. As a result, data from all group of students should be collected for this study. Finally, the study was limited to students enrolled in UITM Seremban 3. As a result, the result may not be relevant to other parts of Malaysia as well as other cultural environments. Recommendations for future research First, use another method to collect data in future research. Because of the limitations, questionnaires may not be the greatest tool to collect data, and respondents may not put out much effort in responding to them. Such methods include observation or interviews face-to-face -face and so on. Second, this study was unable to collect data from international students. It is critical to collect information from international students because um, it will be quite useful and they may have completely different opinions than the locals. Last, analyzing more variables and using alternative models. A larger geographical range may also be covered, such as by doing the study at the state level. Obviously, this would aid the outcome in replicating or representing or representing a larger student population. As for conclusion, this study revealed that teaching competencies and attendance of students have a favorable impact on students' academic performance in UITM Seremban 3. Academic performance is negatively correlated with financial and sleeping habits. As a result, during the research process, a true grasp of the factors and the effect on the dependent variable was achieved. The results shows that the multiple linear regression MLR model supported only two hypotheses. However, it also has some limitations that need to be investigated and analyzed further. That's all from our group. Thank you.